Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I would love to say, call all you have by Hashem, you have a shame, by Hashem, we call for Dash. Double honest with the elders and the apostles of great millstone. And shalom to the old field, shalom, all right? The Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, whom the world it be calls God. Yahweh has many titles, but only one name. Uh, his eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. All right? And the Heavenly Father's Son named whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's not his name. That's disrespect. They call our Lord and Savior Jesus. Or Jesus or whatever the hell. That's disrespect. All right? Don't, don't call him that. His true name is Yahawashai. All right? The Heavenly Father's Son name is Yahawashai. All right? Yahawashai means he's the Savior or he's the Deliverer. Same exact thing. And Yahawashai is coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Now the question is, who are the Hebrew Israelite sons of God, Prince of Power, Yahshua Allah? They are the so-called Negroes, the Spanish, and Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations. Because, because you are according to the seed of your father, whenever you read the book of Numbers, chapter one, all right? So look, maybe gonna maybe look, maybe gonna get back into it. Because the prophets, the true prophets is out there to prophesy against great kingdoms of war, evil, and pestilence, all right? Because what the prophets before me right, and before you have both prophesied against a war, evil, and pestilence. You can read that in the book of Jeremiah. All right? And that's and that's our job to let you know what's gonna happen before it happens. So what I want to do is I want to start off in the book of Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14. Now I see what it leads me to. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14. So these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it. They should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, said the Lord Yahweh by Shem Abishai. So Noah, Daniel, and Job were delivered because of their righteousness. That's what's going to deliver you. That's what's going to give you because wisdom of the scriptures would be the stability of thy time which which evil means bad time so whenever all hell breaks basically in general in general you might be going through something right now but that wisdom is going to keep you stable stay on track y'all know how the people will carry this 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 long pole trying to balance themselves on this little rope and they're trying to walk on it and they'll take their time and you know what i'm saying walking on that tight rope but see, this wisdom is going to keep you balanced. I mean, you just walking regular. You know, just walking regular. This wisdom is going to keep you balanced. You got water on one side, fire on, on, on another. That's what I'm saying. That's the hell. That's the trial, tribulation, and temptation. The, you know, the three T's, what I always call it. Trials, tribulations, and temptations. Wisdom of your Yahawashai is going to keep you balanced no matter what situation that you in and Daniel Joel and Noah all got one thing in common wisdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Noah Daniel and Joel represent the elect alright again that's the elect so if, if they can do it guess what the elect is going to be able to do it as well that's what I'm saying we is going to be delivered Alright, from what? The destruction. See, it, it, it could be right here, right here, right here, right here. Whatever happens, guess what? You was gonna be delivered from it. You see what I'm saying? But it can be all around you. You got hey, here it is, you got what? Uh uh people trying to throw you off track. The Lord may hey, uh just like the Lord sent Satan to test Job. Which he knew he was going to make it. Hey, the Lord can send a, a left-hand angel to test you. Now you going through this. You going through that. You're like, damn, man, why am I always going through this, man? I, damn. You know what I'm saying? You done dealt with the wrong woman. She put you on child support. You know what I'm saying? That's to test your mind. Because if you lose this, oh, I mean, you did. What the Bible say, give me... Uh, uh, please don't basically please don't plague my mind basically please don't plague my mind 
and give me any wickedness but the wickedness of, of a woman. Alright, and that's what the Bible saying. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. And, and, and what any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Because you wanna stay on track. You wanna be occupied and you know to you know to stay focused. Because if you're not focused, then what happened? You ain't paying attention to, to the prize, which is what the kingdom of heaven. And see, Daniel, Noah, and Job had one thing in common. They believe. Key word, matter of fact, that's the word of the day. Believe. They believe in your Havel Oh, snap. Alright, they believe in your Havel Bashim Abishai. Guess what? The men of the Lord today do the same exact thing. We don't believe in Nabadudu and all these fake ass names. No, we believe in your Havel Bashim There's only one name under heaven where men must be saved. And that's your Havel Bashim Abishai. Alright. But anyway, Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14, it says, Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, I'm ashamed. Matter of fact, let me get a precept because all the men, all the men which believe was what? Never confounded. But we're going to get this one. You will never be put to shame. When has a man of the Lord had ever been put to shame? We go through tests. That's a different story. The Lord tests us integrity. He, 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 he tests our faith. And just like the Lord, just like the Lord, Yahweh Shai tests Job, guess what? He gonna, he gonna test us too. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 7. It says, and deliver just Lot. Yes, Lot was delivered. Nobody else. Of course, Lot and his two daughters and his wife looked back. Alright? His his uh, wife looked back because she didn't want it to leave what they had. She didn't want it to leave. So if you is in the land of America, whenever you have a shame come back, a lot of y'all are gonna be looking back. Here it is. You didn't took the MOTB. That part. You didn't took the MOTB. You done went past all this. Isaiah 4 and 1. You done, you done did all this. I'm talking about from a man and a woman. And as soon as your Howard Shite come back, first thing you did was look back. As soon as you seen him, you look back. Hey, that's why the Bible says remember Slot's wife. You done went through all this just to look back. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, that, hey, hey, guess what? That's going to happen, too. There's going to be a lot of people that's attached to the world. So, they use the world. But they also attach to it. Attach means to what? To, be, to abuse the world, which means to be attached to it. See, we use the world, but we don't abuse it. See what I'm saying? So, the thing is, you're going to have people that's going to look back. And guess what? Lord going to say, nope. You have to keep moving forward. Look forward. Whenever you have a shy say to what? To come up hither, which means go up. Hey, Lot's wife was with Lot and her two daughters. She was heading to salvation. But she looked back. Same thing gonna happen today. In these times. A lot of people gonna be looking back, men and women. They gonna, oh, man, damn. They gonna look back. And the, and the Lord went, oh, okay. Because I remember somebody made a statement saying the worst thing that can happen to them is while they go up. And the Lord basically say, psych, and drop your ass himself. Somebody made that statement. I forgot. But, you know, multiple brothers made a statement like that, but tell different versions. You know, it's like from a point of view. You know what I'm saying? Uh, same ending but a different beginning if you get what I mean they'll hate for for them to be going up and then the, and, and, and then the Lord say psych get your ass down there basically you know what I'm saying but anyway Lot was delivered just Lot and Abraham knew and see Abraham is the uncle uh, Lot is the nephew and Abraham basically tried to plead to the Lord 
basically that's what he did. Abraham pleaded to the Lord to please don't destroy Sodom because his nephew Lot is there. Matter of fact, let me get that in, in um, Genesis. Hold on. Let me get that in Genesis. Because Abraham basically was, was pleading to Yahweh, hey, Lord, please don't destroy Sodom because my nephew was in Sodom. Okay. And um I got it. And um the Lord basically said, Well, if I find at least fifty people righteous, I won't destroy Sodom. Okay, so we we're gonna read it. Genesis chapter 18 verse 26 it says in the lord yahweh said if i find in sodom 50 righteous within the city then i will spare all the place for their sakes okay so the lord said look if you find me or right, if i see 50 people which the lord already know the answer but if you can see 50 people or right, if you can go preach you know what i'm saying and see if there's 50 people at least at, at least 50 then I won't destroy Sodom. It wasn't even 50. Man, we gonna get straight to the point. It went down to 10. It wasn't even 10 people. Matter of fact, let me get that. What's that verse? Same chapter. Drop down the verse. Let's get 31. Oh uh, yeah, I read verse 31. And then, yeah, I read verse 31. Genesis chapter 18, verse 31, it says, And he said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, perhaps, which pre-eventual basically means perhaps. Perhaps there shall be 20 found there. And he said, I would not destroy it for 20 sake. So it went from 50 like I say, I skipped from 50 to 40 to 20. So now let's read verse, you know, to 10. So let's read Genesis chapter 18, verse 32. It says, It says, And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Perhaps 10 shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for 10's sake. So, it wasn't even at least 10 people righteous in Sodom. And you can read it right here. It wasn't even 10. Alright. It wasn't even. Damn, that shit blurred. But it is all good. I say it's hard to show at daytime, but nighttime you see everything clear. But it wasn't at least 10 people righteous in Sodom. That's how you know the Lord had to destroy. Sodom and Gomorrah and those three neighboring cities because if the Lord didn't do that the influence would have corrupt the whole entire world I bet it showed good now fuck it but anyway then it just died test it out yeah you know the sun went off but anyway we don't need that let me get right back to this other tab Oh, this thing going kind of slow. The internet, hell, on the internet. Okay, now we're back in the other tab. This is the book of um, Second Peter, chapter two, verse seven. And deliver just like vex with the fifty conversations of the wicked. So Lot was the only one delivered, and guess what? He was vexed. The same thing is today. We are vexed with the fifty conversations of the wicked. All right, we have to listen to the abominations that they speak. Have a matter of fact. You go on social media, um, any, any anything that is related to social media, okay, basically open to the public, you see all kinds of 50 stuff. All kinds of, uh, this, this, this woman had sex with 500 men. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You just see all kinds of about, I mean, people bragging about their weakness. That's why the Bible says, I quote, I ain't, I ain't gotta get it. You know, the Bible says, that they declared their sin as Sodom. Because Sodom was the, hey, Sodom, they declared their sin. They say, nigga, this is what we do. The same thing that Americans do. They declare their sin on the internet. Yeah, I do it. They make songs on it. 
they rap on it, they sing to it. Okay, they 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 they, they, they declare the sin to Sodom. And Lot was vexed with the 50 conversations of the wicked every day. He like, oh god damn. I'd be the same way. Hey, you got the truth. Now yeah, anybody that know me know I, I I hate social media, especially TikTok. But hey, you got some truth on TikTok. And you got some fire being spit on TikTok. But I hate TikTok so much. I, I say, man, fuck that. I ain't going on that. If it's some truth on TikTok, I ain't going to look it up myself. Un, un, unless someone share a video from TikTok on another site, then I would look at it. I tried going on TikTok two times. I said, ugh. I don't see how brothers do it. But hey, every brother is different. Every brother don't have the same um, scrimps. When it come to TikTok, man, I'm man, I'm too weak. I can't, you know, I can't deal with that. I, I get vexed too easy, you know what I'm saying? I see all kind of weird and lame ass shit and these dumb ass challenges. Like, a challenge to be the most dumbest person and lamest person in the world. I can't look at stuff like that. But hey, some people can stomach that. I can't stomach that. I'm a mm mm. And I ain't gonna do that. But anyway, hey, like, hey, the point I'm making is the e elect man basically the elect point blank period will be delivered no matter where you at on the earth all right no matter what the situation is you may be at your job you may be at the house now why the bible speaks about what one hour of a city boom man guess what that's the elect all right brother and see that's the elect that's gonna what be what de de deliver the, you know the ones that uh take heed all right Matter of fact, let me get this one. Because it's going to be hell on these streets. So now we got to get the second address. So let's get some hell scriptures. Man, we, man let's get some, some hell. Hold on. What the hell? You got to be kidding me. So let's, so let's get some hell scriptures. This is the book of second address, shop 15. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. It says, "For because of their pride, the city shall be trouble." Yes, the city is going to be trouble. Uh, as a matter of fact, speaking about us, speaking about a city out of many being trouble, you got um, over there, you know, in Gaza, over there, you know, where Israel, at, you know, what I'm saying, uh, how do we? You had this hospital that was bombed. And uh, 500 plus, which we know the number is more than that. Like, like I always say, Esau, if he give you a number, just round it up. Come on, man, stop playing. They, you know, depending on the situation, depending on the situation, round that number up. If he said 10 people died, nigga, it was 20. All right? Round that number up. So we know it's a guy. Look, I've seen the videos. All right, plural, not single. Seen the videos of it was babies killed, alright? Killed. Now y'all know a uh, 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 one year old can't act, a uh, five month year old can't act. All they know how to do is cry. If a five year old want to, I mean, if a five month, well, I mean, say if a five month year old want to be nurtured and cared for, what they gonna do? Cry. Ain't no way in the hell these five-month-year-olds, four-month-year-olds, okay. Face all gone. You can't act that out. Here it is. You got people thinking that, yeah, man, the, you know, the shit that's going on around the world is fake. Now, now you got people saying that slavery never happened. What? Well, damn, nothing happened. I said, well, I guess the, I guess the Twin Towers and falling never happened either then. You know what I'm saying? Like, people people so blind by sports, bread, and entertainment, and circus that they don't believe nothing be going on. The only thing they see is stats. Who win and who lose? How much points per game? How much rebounds you got? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the? That's, that, that's literally all people see. They don't see what's going on around the world. They don't see the wars that's going to, you know, the wars and the rumors of wars, the, you know, the earthquakes and Davos places. They don't see that. 
they don't they don't know about the volcano eruptions that that that, 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 that um, took place over here. They don't see it. All they see is stats, earthquakes. I mean, they don't even see them. <laughs> That was slip of the tongue, but nah, man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. People see, hey man, when that movie gonna come out? When the next 2K gonna come out? Yeah, man, Madden need to patch this, man. I don't, man, I don't like how the way they run. You know, they take two steps before they catch the ball all the time. Nigga, just take one. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they don't see what's going on around the world. Matter of fact, l l l let me read this again. Second Andrew chapter 15 verse 18 For because of their pride the city shall be troubled Yes the city's gonna be troubled And for that bomb to hit Boom At that hospital hey, That's just judgment Now you got to always keep in mind Jacob trouble is gonna be a time like never before Alright So keep you know, keep keep playing with and say Oh who me man that should have never happened over here now I'm saying, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I know you, I know that you believe in that Bible. I must be got big Bible. Excuse me, son. But anyway, yeah, I know you believe in that Bible. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see none of that shit come to pass. Y'all know that scripture where it says, what you preach about shall be uh, uh, years to come, but not in our lifetime. No, it's going to happen in your lifetime. All right? It's going to happen in your lifetime and all hell break loose. Jig up trouble. See? Same thing with no same thing with Jeremiah. Jeremiah say, look, man, hell gonna come to y'all. Ain't nobody believe him. Hey man, and Jeremiah caught hell. Alright? Man, ain't no hell coming over here, nigga. Shut your damn mouth. In, in, in the days of Noah. Man, ain't no rain coming. You know what? Shut your ass up. Alright? That's what I'm saying? Hey, hey he that you had your have a shy preaching the kingdom is at hand. Man, them niggas, man, tell that nigga to shut the fuck up, know what I'm saying? Every time a prophet go out there and preach, nobody believe him. Nobody want to listen. They didn't know they sitting in this laugh. Nigga, you out there wasting your damn time. Shut up. All right? Second answer, shut the 15 verse 18 for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Yeah, because of your pride, you mocking and scoffing the prophets. All right? You saying that nothing is going to happen over here. It may happen somewhere else, but not over here. Yeah. You see, the Lord is saving America for last. That's why he got people from all over the world coming over here so they can be a part of that great judgment. All right, so they can be a part of that great judgment. Fire. Brimstone. There's going to be no missiles. That's going to rain on your head. <laughs> yeah, it's going to rain on your damn head. Man. I'm trying to tell you. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. Yeah, your house is going to be destroyed. So if you call yourself, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the point of, of, of a y'all be collecting. You know what I'm saying? You got these people that collect cars and video games and movies. and You know what I'm saying? And they take pride in that shit. You got people that be collecting the shit. I be like, why you doing all this shit is vanity. I mean, you're doing that shit in vain. Okay, whenever you die, you can't take your issue. You know what I'm saying? You sitting there, you know, you got these people in the ancient times that they're damn uh, 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 put gold inside their casket and shit. You, know, you can't take me. First of all, Esau don't dig up your graves and took them gold out anyway. Esau don't took your gold from your ass. All right? Straight out your damn grave. <laughs> Esau will dig up a grave. That's why your Howard Shite body had been taken up. Because Esau would have found that. Oh, oh, you know, we got the Lord's body right here. The fuck you doing digging up graves? No, it got to stay there. Stop. Let it stay there. It's crazy. And then, and then that shit go back to Egypt anyway. Your body's supposed to go back to the ground, man. Your body's supposed to become the earth. You know, that's good for the soil. Know what I'm saying? All that casket shit. Go back to Egypt any damn way. Bury your ass like this. Man, that shit Egypt. <laughs> That's crazy. Matter of fact, we're going to read this one more time to end it. 
Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 18 For because of their pride the city shall be troubled The houses shall be destroyed Yeah so you doing all this collecting and Man Ain't nothing to fuck First of all martial law people don't forget about that Man they can come in and fucking Throw your ass out there The Bible speaks, speaks, speaks about people shall be cast out of their houses And then when they all hell break loose Then what People gonna be hungry out here It's gonna be anarchy these movies and video games about all hell gonna break loose and every man for himself. Oh, that shit gonna come. And it's gonna hit America hard. You know what I'm saying? Your house gonna be destroyed for real. And men shall be afraid. You gonna have grown men, you know what I'm saying? Built strong as hell. They gonna be afraid. They gonna be, they, man, they gonna be afraid. Especially if you well known around the world. You this famous celebrity that got a nice house. You you on MTV Cribs. What the fuck they got going on these days? I don't know. You on social media flashing your money all over the table, saying you saying you got millions. People gonna come to your house like zombies, and they gonna want you. And they know you got stuff. They know you got food. Money ain't gonna mean nothing in that day. But they know you got food and jewelry and all kinds of... Oh, man, they coming. So you dumbass people that's flashing your uh, luxury on the internet. When these movies come to pass... Okay, have a good one. You too, hold it down. So when these movies come to pass... About what? Anarchy and stuff like that. Guess what's going to happen? You gonna know that she would target like, damn, I shouldn't have flashed that on the internet. Damn, I shouldn't be flexing in it. Yeah. Now you don't make yourself a target. All right. It, it, no, the Bible just said men shall be afraid. How much more than women? You already know they gonna be getting great and and ripping pieces. Have a train run on them. That's a football field long. Okay. You're going to have men that's going to be getting great, too. There's a lot of freaks out here. Hey Amen. These dudes that's in prison, and they got nothing but time thinking about what will they do if they free, the amount of hell they're going to cause. Hey, they've been institutionalized, if I'm saying the, the word. Hey Amen. They fucked up in the head. And I actually had to train a, 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 a dude that was fucked up straight out of prison. You know what I'm saying? He, he acting like he's still in prison. Staring at people like this and shit. I said, damn, what's wrong with that dude? Oh, yeah, man, that dude, that head just got a prison. How long he did? 10 years. Damn. Yeah, man, he fucked up. Dude literally act like he been still in prison. Looking around and shit. Dude got a dude bad tie like a butterfly and shit. But anyway, hey, just get this. The whole point of this, uh, what day it is? Wednesday, October the 18th, lunch break camp. Is that only the elect is gonna be delivered and when all hell hit the elect will be stable and the Lord will protect them because the Bible says that the angels are kept around them that fear him that fear who not DJ Trump not body not the police no fuck them the angel is gonna camp around those that fear you how about you I'm shite point blank period so I'm gonna go ahead and end up this Wednesday lunch with camp lesson hopefully it was edifying uh, end up by saying, call out Yahweh, by Hashem, 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 by